And finally, for today's episode, let's turn to Alejandra Castillo for a look at Adventist history. This week, Alejandra shares about the life of James Springer White, a well-known leader, author, and evangelist. Hello and welcome to This Week in Adventist History. Today we look at an interesting detail from the life of an Adventist pioneer. A co-founder of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, James Springer White, is well known for being a prominent leader, talented author, and powerful public evangelist. Throughout his life, Elder White demonstrated a commitment to spreading the truth. He initially started the periodical called The Present Truth that would eventually grow to become the Adventist Review. This medium became a major source of communication for early Sabbatarian Adventist movement, and through it, he and Ellen G. White shared their writings with like-minded believers. James White was notably passionate about educating young minds, an interest rooted in his own personal and quite remarkable experience with learning. Born on August 4, 1821 in Palmyra, Maine, Elder White was the fifth of nine children and one who suffered much from physical debility as a child, especially weakness of eyesight. These ailments prevented him from attending school until the age of 19 when he entered an academy near St. Albans, Maine. In 12 weeks, studying for about 18 hours a day, he attained a certificate indicating his qualifications to teach and began teaching the following winter. He then attended school for another 17 weeks. It was told that at that rate he was going, he would be ready for college in one year. In total, James White had 29 weeks, a bit over seven months of formal education. This is a remarkable fate for a 19-year-old, as much today as it was in his time. And James White sometimes referred to this experience as a demonstration of what young people can accomplish through diligence and dedication. That was this day in Seventh-day Adventist history. 